Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In March of this year, WCCF Tech, a renowned American technology media outlet, published a report claiming that China's independently developed extreme ultraviolet EUV, lithography machine was expected to enter trial production in the third quarter of 2025. The machine would utilize a simpler, more efficient design, effectively replacing related equipment with domestically produced equipment. This news immediately sparked widespread controversy overseas. Could EUV lithography, a jewel of industry in human history, be so soon controlled by Chinese companies? Following the news of progress on domestic EUV lithography, new news emerged from Russia, signaling the inevitable situation ASML hadn't intended to see. When discussing domestic lithography machines, one name must be mentioned, Lin Nan. This researcher at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics led his team to successfully create an LPPEUV light source using solid-state laser technology, by passing the traditional CO2 laser technology. This provides a viable alternative to the light source generators used in domestic lithography machines. Lin Nan's team also innovated LDP technology, which uses high voltage discharge to excite tin vapor. This simplifies the design of related structural components, reduces their size by 30%, and significantly reduces power consumption per wafer by 45%. In March of this year, a related research paper was published on the cover of China Laser Magazine. The first LDP prototype, the SMEE 3600, is reportedly undergoing stress testing at Huawei's Dongguan factory. As China accelerates the development of EUV lithography equipment, new news has emerged from Russia, revealing a situation ASML is unwilling to see unfold. The Institute of Microstructure Physics of the Russian Academy of Sciences recently released an ambitious EUV lithography technology development plan, aiming to achieve complete technology coverage from 40 nanometers to sub-10 nm processes by 2037. This strategic move clearly targets the integrated circuit sector, a field in which Russia has historically lags, and seeks to break the technological monopoly of ASML, a Dutch company, in high-end EUV lithography equipment. Unlike China's technological approach, the Russian team chose an 11.2 nanometers operating wavelength, using a xenon plasma light source and a ruthenium beryllium mirror system. This differs from ASML's 13.5 nanometers wavelength EUV method of bombarding tin droplets with EUV light. In terms of equipment lifespan and efficiency, the Russian approach may offer a better balance between cost and efficiency. Currently, Russia's EUV lithography development strategy has been defined into three phases, with each phase having specific milestones publicly announced. For example, 40 nanometers lithography equipment is planned for 2026 to 2028. 28 nanometers process technology is planned for 2029 to 2032, with potential for 14 nanometers. The third phase aims to achieve mass production of sub-10 nm process technology between 2032 and 2036, reaching the current world-leading level. This demonstrates that Russia has also taken a relatively pragmatic approach to the development of advanced semiconductor technology. Rather than pursuing a short-term surge in European and American development, Russia is aiming to catch up with existing processes over a decade or so based on domestic realities. Russia's accelerated deployment of EUV lithography equipment is also leading to a situation that overseas semiconductor equipment manufacturers like ASML of the Netherlands are reluctant to see. First, Domestic substitution of related equipment will inevitably impact ASML's future overseas market share. Currently, ASML's EUV lithography systems cannot be freely shipped to other countries. Only a few foundries, such as TSMC and Samsung, can access their equipment. Semiconductor companies in mainland China and even Russia cannot purchase equipment through ASML. 
Accelerating domestic substitution is inevitable, leading to a loss of ASML's market share and undermining its monopoly in the EUV lithography market. Second, the emergence of a chip industry chain that excludes US technology will pose a severe challenge to established giants like ASML and TSMC. Currently, leading companies in the semiconductor industry chain, such as TSMC and ASML, are clearly subject to US export controls, preventing them from directly supplying equipment or products to countries without US authorization. Once viable alternatives emerge, the two giants will lose even more market share due to US restrictions. Furthermore, since the new solution avoids US technology controls, it will pose further challenges for both companies in resuming global operations. This is clearly a situation that overseas semiconductor giants like ASML of the Netherlands do not want to see. Finally, the accelerated development of countries like China and Russia has created more potential alternatives to EUV lithography systems. If any of these approaches pan out, the market position of foreign companies like ASML could be impacted. This is the situation ASML most despises, facing substitution across multiple countries and supply chains. If only the Chinese market were involved in related sectors, ASML could tailor its products to domestic equipment developments and deter potential competitors. However, with the participation of more countries, it would be difficult for a few companies like ASML to fully cover both domestic and international markets. Furthermore, with shared goals and the potential for future cooperation in related areas, ASML is bound to intensify its anxiety. With a stock price of $966 and a market capitalization of 400 billion euros, ASML appears as if it is rock solid. However, in the tide of technological innovation, no single company can remain the eternal champion. China's LDP technology is about to enter trial production, Russia's X-ray solution is eyeing it, and Japan's Canon has also achieved a breakthrough in nil-nano imprint lithography. The global race for lithography technology may have just begun. History tells us that technological monopolies are never permanent. Didn't Japan's Canon and Nikon once dominate the lithography market, only to be surpassed by ASML? Now, the same scenario may be repeating itself. SMIC has already begun testing the DUV lithography system developed by Shanghai Yuliangsheng, indicating that Chinese companies are making a comprehensive move from DUV to EUV, from following suit to technological innovation. Whichever path succeeds, it will have a significant impact on ASML. This is why ASML's CEO believes that the regulatory measures imposed by Europe and the United States on China are forcing Chinese companies to innovate. This is because they clearly understand that ASML's EUV lithography system technology is not the only solution, and there are other options that can achieve the same results. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment and discuss.